Hi, Hal Lou here, uh, Hal Grant. Just going to show a little something. Um, hopefully, you'll be able to zoom in a little bit on this. We're going to try something with a geo today. Uh, my friend Derek, uh, Derek Wong, um, he taught this at Toronto Alley um, he, with my permission. And he said, get a video out right away. So uh, that's what I'm going to do. Um, got a standard geo here, uh, the six inch. But what we're going to do is we're going to try to turn it inside out. To do so, I put my fingers in, stretch the mouth, the nozzle, and just use my thumbs to push it back in. If it comes out in a little ball, like so, you can use a pencil just to poke it down a little bit. But once you get the hang of things, you'll be able to do this without a pencil. So now that I have it inverted inside out, I'm going to put it over my pump. I'm going to plate it like so, but before I tie it, I'm going to try to shape it so I know if I need any more air in it. So this is going to look good. I'm going to tie it off. Make sure you have lots of nozzle. You should. And you have so. Now this is great for line work because it's probably one of the easiest bodies you'll do for any animal. Um, you can use it for an elephant body as well. I use it for a lot. It can be used for a horse, a uh, hippopotamus cow, um, even dogs if you want to do something a little bit different. So I'm going to do my simple one right now. You can do a lot more, like I said, build off it. I'm going to take the two nozzles, 260, tie them together, make a simple loop, make another loop of approximately the same size, Whoop. make another loop approximately the same size, and you're going to have so. If you do this out of a width of 160 or 180, whatever it is, let's get it wrong, you can leave it and have a really, really long nozzle. But if you're using 260s, I suggest break it just a little bit longer than what the length of the body would be. And then tie it off. Now, the only thing I don't have handy right now is a Sharpie. But I'm going to show you really quickly without our work. Take a, a round or heart, divide it in half, try to get the two sides as close as you can together. I like to come from underneath my trunk, around the ears to the back to the front. And this way, And position the eyes accordingly. And there you go. Um, if you have a Sharpie, um, which my partner here, I'll just see if she can grab one really quickly. Um, I'm just going to show you what it is, but you do a lot of things. You don't necessarily need to use a, um, a round. You could use it with pre-printed balloons. Sometimes I like the top print. Um, I use a lot of different top prints. Right now, this is the one with the crazy eyes, uh, which I really, really like. Um, and then, like I said, the other way to do it is um, take your Sharpie. I don't do a lot of artwork on mine. Um, I try to keep it as simple as I can. There's, you can go as crazy as you want. But I just do two dots. Hopefully, somewhat the same size. And we have so. Um, so that's it. Uh, again, it's a simple body. Um, play with your geos. Um, I've been trying to, um, I've been trying to twist them um, as well. I have large, uh, bigger success with twisting them and uh, twisting bubbles into the geo um, if it's a larger geo that I'm using. Um, so have fun with them. Again, my name is Hal Hallelu. Uh, follow me at Hallelu Hallelu 2000 on the YouTube. Um, I'm, my website is Hallelu. Uh, .ca. So check me out there as well. I'm on Facebook. I have a, a look up Halu on Facebook. You'll see, two, um, and we'll have some uh, balloons on there. Um, again, I'm probably going to do a lot more geos uh, in the future, but I'm just going to wait until I have a larger portfolio of those, and then I'll be sharing with some of them on YouTube. Um, again, Hal Grant, Halu. Have a great day. Thanks.